Well, I must say it's been quite a long time. I want to say the last video I actually uploaded was the series finale to the Our Twin Life Chill Days, which everyone seemed to thoroughly enjoy. So yeah, guys, sorry it's been such a long time, but I've been very busy, among other things. A beautiful day here at the homestead. Perfect temperature here in New Hampshire. Now, I just want to show you something. Let me swing around to the other side here. Yes, we have chickens. Let's see what they're up to today. What's going on, fellas? Having a good time up here? That's adorable. So yeah, we built this, uh, this little pen here. This is electrified, by the way, so we can't get the foxes in here. Don't want to take any of the eggs. Troy did an excellent job building this uh, chicken coop here. Very, very sturdy. Very solid piece. So yeah, we're gonna have some eggs here. And uh, maybe some poultry further on down the line. All right, carry on, gals. I don't think I've ever actually shown anybody like the full circumference of the house here, or full circumference of the property, if you will. So this is the back. We kind of live up on this little hill. And we're nestled right in here with all these trees. That's my AC running. Beautiful piece of property, very serene. Way out in the country, so you're not bothered by anybody. Like I said, you come along here. The Equinox, our neighbors also have chickens. And speaking of the Equinox, a lot has been done to it. Let me just outline some of these things really quick. So as all of you know, I am a monster freak, monster fanatic, so got the custom monster decals here on the hood of the Nox. So that is the general theme of the Equinox is the gray or the silver, if you will, and green. I even put on performance cross-drilled and slotted rotors, painted the calipers green, also painted the rear drums green. Monster, monster. Didn't really do anything to the back though. Obviously got the monster logo there. And coming soon on the front end is gonna be a police push bar. And that, let's just travel on in here. That is this beast right here. Police vehicle equipment, oh yes. So that big battering ram that you see on the front of police vehicles will soon be on the front of the Equinox. Why you ask? Just because it's cool. Did not really add too much to the interior, although I did invest in a really nice radar detector. It's called the Whistler. And this little doohickey right here is a really nice holder for your cell phone. Magnetic, just clip it on there and it's very sturdy. And this suction cup actually grabs textured surfaces and it is rock solid. So that is really cool while you're driving. You can either take phone calls hands-free or you can just throw up Google Maps, do what you need to do. Very, very handy device, highly recommended. And another awesome piece of tech I'd like to show off here is the Samsung Gear Fit 2. This thing is wicked. Uh, I have a custom, it shuts off, have a custom watch face on it. But this thing does everything from track your sleep to track your heart rate, the amount of steps, amount of floors. It is packed with sensors and it is very, very slick. Samsung did a phenomenal job engineering this. You can have a litany of custom watch faces. Uh, let's see if I can actually scroll around on this, holding this thing. So, I just slide there. There's my calories. Exercise. There we go, activity log. This is hard to do with one hand. Steps, 
floors, and my favorite is the heart rate monitor. So it monitors your heart rate typically while you're at rest because you have to be still when it does it, but it tracks it throughout the day. And it just gives a nice snapshot of where you stand as far as exercise and heart health. So a really, really nice piece. And yes, of course it tells time. So another awesome thing I wanted to point out, we finally had some buyers for this house across the street. I think I pointed that out in a few of my earlier vlogs a while back. We have the uh, horses over there. Uh, but these folks have purchased this house and have really turned this property around. They utilize all that field. That's corn over there, guys. That's all corn from there to there. And actually there's some down there. So let me just see if the coast is clear. There we go. They have two really nice dogs as well. That's the uh, Blue Book Farm. Looks like the horses aren't out today. Yeah, really nice job on that property. Here's the second part of their field right here. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if they gave me some ears of fresh corn. Can't beat that. Now, I'm hitting it just at the right time because usually this is 12A. There's the, the Tesla chargers right there. That's where I work. That's the chopper. But usually, if you wait till around 11 or noon, especially on the weekends, my God, it's just anarchy. This 12A highway is just packed. One of my all-time favorite places to go right across the street from the chopper is Best Buy. Too many trees. There we go. There's my Best Buy. A lot of places to, to go here. We have a Panera Bread in this plaza here. BJ's, I mean, there's just a, a litany of places to go. But what's really nice about this area, there's Wendy's, Burger King, is you have all of this only five miles out, but at my house, you would never know that there's any civilization, which is just, it's the perfect mix. This is the Upper Valley Plaza. This is the biggest plaza right here. There's a ton of stores there, including a uh, Moe's Five Guys, GameStop, you name it. I'm heading to Subway just because. I had a craving for it. This is Interstate 89, still on 12A. So this is where the interstate comes off. Lebanon spans three. Apparently there's a radar detector detector in the area. Shaw's, that's where I get my monsters. Taco Bell, the Duncan, and of course, one of my all-time favorite places, right there, Louie Louie's, that, there it is, there's Louie Louie's. Brick Oven Pizza, best of the best. Uh, I don't have any other errands to run today, so I'm gonna drive right home. Josh and I plan on streaming a little later, probably at noon, because it is his day off as well as my day off, so we can get a good afternoon session in. So that will be fun. Hopefully, we can kill it on Rocket League today. It has been actually truly seen uh, the inside miss, of my house, to say the least. This is uh, when you enter Game of Thrones and American Idiot. This is the living room. Right here is the streaming TV. Let me actually turn on the light. Obviously, the the blue snowball, the mic. So this is where all the streaming happens, right here. And this is the primary PC with the dual monitors right there. Got my uh, nice little line of monsters up there, of course, along with analog clock and of course some important and valuable pictures. Of course, the centerpiece and primary TV is the Vizio 55 inch 3D TV, complete with PS4, even a PS2. The PS3 is in the bedroom because I watch PlayStation View on it. And VCR, and of course the surround sound decoder. And yet we have Alexa. Tell me a joke. Why don't oysters share their pearls? They're shellfish. <laughs> All right then. That's uh, that's uh, okay. That's pretty good. Did you hear about the fire at the circus? It was intense. <laughs> what? <laughs> but 
but I'd like to draw your attention over to this right here. If I can get the reflection out of the frame. So, I'm not sure if you guys know, but Rocket League just surpassed its first year on July 7th. Now, the reason why I did this is they released their retail physical copies around the same time, July 5th actually in North America, which is monumental for a game that was primarily free and based solely on the PlayStation Network. For a PSN only game to get a full retail release like this is really unheard of these days and that just truly shows you how popular Rocket League has become. I mean 1.1 million players per day still and they're still standing behind it with constant updates 100%. So I made this little Rocket League shrine here. Now I custom matted this and framed, it's very reflective, the PS4 version right there and you got the Xbox One version right there. Custom map boxes and the PC version is on its way. It's gonna go right there in the middle. But I can't really express to you how much this game means to me. It has truly, and I know it sounds kind of corny, but it has changed my life in, in a few different ways. It, it, it's, it's what brought a lot of us together. The, the memories that were created from this game will last forever. It is what spawns the entire Dissolmuth gaming venture. Uh, and it, it just, very, very, very good memories. I really can't say anything more. It just, uh, one of the greatest games ever made by the greatest developers ever made. And the time I had with it, especially with uh, like Jesse Jaden, I, those are the best times right there. And uh, those are memories that you'll, you'll always have. So Rocket League has changed my life, you know, substantially in those ways. But that being said, I'm gonna end this off. Like, like I said, guys, I'm really sorry it's been such a long time, but I've been busy and a lot of other things going on in the life. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys on the flip side.